you're a king And it is, it is a glorious thing To be a pirate king For I am a pirate king And it is, it is a glorious thing To be a pirate king Nineteen sixty-eight, Los Altos High School in Hacienda Heights. Senior Eric Nelson gets his first starring role in a musical, and he's a pirate. <laughs> and not just a pirate, he's the pirate king. He gets the part he wanted, and he goes gets to sing several great songs. His friends and his family go wild with adulation. He thinks this is the beginning of a brilliant Broadway career. <laughs> what he doesn't realize is that. Uh, Starring roles and great songs to sing for adoring audiences would be rather hard to come by in the ensuing years. Hi, I'm Eric Nelson, and this is my Broadway career. <laughs> One year later, at Whittier College, I'm cast in Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. I'm only a freshman, so I'm quite happy to be cast as Judd Fry, the villain of the show. Uh, I'd rather be Curly, the uh, handsome leading man cowboy who gets all the good songs and, and the girl, but uh, you know, I, I'm happy with what I got. Um, I did get a song in the show, but it's about being cooped up in a small dark room with a bunch of vermin, so uh, maybe not so good for this show. So I'm going to sing some of Curly's songs. Um, joining me tonight is my lovely wife Sandy, my all purpose side man. For this song, she'll be playing the part of an Oklahoma bird. <laughs> There's a bright golden haze on the meadow. The corn is as high as an elephant's eye. And it looks like it's climbing clear up to the sky. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a beautiful Statues, all the cattle are standing like statues. They don't turn their heads as they see me ride by. But a little brown maverick is winking her eye. Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful day! I got a beautiful. Things going my way. Oh, what a beautiful day. Come to think of it, I was always the villain, or the boss, or the captain. In other words, the interesting character parts, but not the romantic lead, the guy who gets all the good songs. Say, here's an idea. I think I'll do a program of all the songs I never got to sing on stage. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I've been at this for 50 years, so rather than take you through my career one year at a time, I'll, we'll just hit some of the high points. 
or, or the low points. <laughs> One of the first shows that I ever saw was South Pacific at El Monte High School where my father was a math teacher. It was only a high school production, but they really did a phenomenal job at it. And I decided right then and there that I would be in this show one day and I would be Emile de Beck, the <laughs> mysterious French planter who has all of the good songs and gets the girl. Can you see where this is going? <laughs> yep, eventually when I was in the show, I was cast as Captain Brackett. But since that part had no songs, Tonight, I'm going to sing Emile's songs, because it's my show. Actually, the first song I want to do is sung in the show by Bloody Mary, a Tonkinese peddler woman who will sell the sailors that are based on her South Pacific island anything, including a dream. In this case, the dream and allure of a nearby island paradise, Bali High. Most people live on a lonely island Lost in the middle of a foggy sea Most people long for another island One where they know they would like to be Bali I may call you any night, any day. In your heart, you'll hear it call you. Come away, come away. Bali I will whisper on the wind of the sea. Here am I. hopes, your own special dreams. Bloom on the hillside and shine in the streams. If you try, you'll find me where the sky Emile Dubec, the mysterious French planter, meets beautiful perky Navy nurse Nellie Forbush from Little Rock, Arkansas, and immediately he breaks out into song. Some enchanted evening, you may. 
may see a stranger. You may see a stranger across a crowded room. And somehow you know, you know even then, that somewhere you'll see her again and again. enchanted evening Someone may be laughing You may hear her laughing Across a crowded room And night after night As strange as it seems The sound of her laughter will spring in your dream. Who can explain it? Who can tell you why? Fools give you reasons wise men never Then fly to her side And make her your own Or all through your life you May dream all alone Once you have found her Never let her go Once you have found her How sweet it is. <laughs> Only some of you in the crowd will get that. <laughs> Let's stick with Rogers and Hammerstein for one more song. Another per part I wanted to play was actually a captain, Captain Von Trapp in The Sound of Music. Uh, I auditioned for the part twice. Didn't get the part twice. Didn't even get in the show. But tonight, Anything is possible. So here's the good captain's only song from The Sound of Music, Edelweiss, which is basically a hymn to his beautiful, beloved Austria before the Nazis took over.
always bless my homeland forever. I was lucky enough twice to spend uh, summer doing dinner theater at Elizabeth Howard's Curtain Call Dinner Theater in Tustin. I was in the Music Man there one summer for 65 performances. Not as Professor Harold Hill, of course, you know, the lead, but uh, I was the bass in the barbershop quartet. It was a great experience and I enjoyed it thoroughly. But I wanted to be Harold Hill. Oh well. Sandy is going to demonstrate her amazing versatility um, by switching to percussion, believe it or not. We're going to do one of Harold's lesser-known songs from the show, The Sadder But Wiser Girl. In this song, Professor Hill seems to prefer older, more mature women than to sweet, dangerous young things. Smart man. <laughs> no wide-eyed... Wholesome, eager, innocent Sunday school teacher for me. Ha! That kind of girl spins webs, no spider ever. Listen, a girl who trades on all that purity merely wants to trade my independence for her security. The only affirmative she will file refers to marching down the aisle. No cold and glorious, believing, pristine goddess. No, sir. For no Diana do I play fun. I can tell you that right now. I snarl, I hiss, how can you do it be compared to bliss? I spark, I fizz, for the lady who knows what time it is. I cheer, I rave, for the virtue I'm too late to save. The sadder but wiser girl for me. No bright-eyed, blushing, breathless baby doll baby. No, sir, that kind of girl ties knots no sailor ever knew. I prefer to take a chance on a more adult romance. No two-eyed miss who keeps resisting, even it all she keeps insisting. No white-eyed, wholesome, innocent female. No, sir, why she's the fisherman, I'm the fish to see. I flinch, I shy. For the last with the delicate air goes by, I smile, I grin. When the lad with the funny rush sin walks in, I hope and I pray for Hester to win just one more egg. My better but wiser girl, a girl for me. A sadder but wiser girl for me. Everyone has their own idea of the perfect Broadway musical. Very high on most people's list would be My Fair Lady by Lerner and Lowe. There are not one, but two great parts for <clears throat> mature men in the show. Uh, Professor Henry Higgins, of course, and Eliza Doolittle's father, Alfred P. Doolittle. I would take either one of them. Hey, Long Beach Playhouse is doing the show this summer. Maybe this is my chance. <laughs> Well, until then, we're going to do three of uh, the songs from My Fair Lady, two of Alfie P. Alfred P. Doolittle's songs, and one of Professor Hill... Professor, what's his Higgins. Get my professors mixed up here. <laughs> Alfred P. Doolittle's name says it all. Although he is officially a dustman, that's British for trash man, he does as little as possible. He does like to sing about it, though. After mooching a few bob from his daughter Eliza, he expounds on his philosophy of life to his two mates. Good night, Eliza. You're a noble daughter. You see, boys, I told you not to go home. It's just faith, hope, and a little bit of luck. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron so he could do his job and never shirk. The Lord above gave man an arm of iron but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, when 
personal world of Lincoln work With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck you ever work The Lord above made liquor for temptation To see if man could turn away from sin The Lord above made liquor for temptation But with a little bit of luck Gentle sex was made for man to marry, to share his nest and see his food is cooked. The gentle sex was made for man to marry, but with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you can have it all and not get hooked. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you won't get hooked. No matter where, on land or sea or foam, the Lord above made man to help his neighbor. But with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, when he comes around, you won't be home. With a little bit, with a little bit, with a little bit of luck, you won't be home. Let's go in goodness at you. But with a little bit of luck, a man can duck. Oh, it's a crime for man to go philandering. Till his wife's poor heart of grief and doubt. Oh, it's a crime for man to go philandering. But with a little bit of luck, with a little bit of luck, you can see the blood out, don't find out. With a little bit. Excuse me, English accent. <clears throat> it's, there's just no way you can sing these songs in American. It, it just doesn't work. Anyway, Alfie Doolittle is finally forced to marry his girlfriend of several years. Before setting out on his last night of debauchery, he exhorts his mates to get him to the church on time. There are drinks and girls all over London. And I've got to track him down in just a few more hours. I get married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pull out the supper. Let's have a whopper. But get me to the church on time. I got to be there in the morning. Spruce up. Dancing, roll up the floor. If I am whistling, me out the door. For I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pick up a rumpus, but don't lose the compass. But get me to the church. Get me to the church. For God's sake, get me to the church. Prime. Some bloke is able, 
lift up the table But get me to the church on time If I am flying, then shoot me down If I am going, get her out of town For I'm getting married in the morning Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime Church. For God's sake, get me to the church on time. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Hail and salute me, but haul off and shoot me. But get me to the church. For God's sake, get me to the church on time. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Professor Henry Higgins, a confirmed old bachelor, sings of his love, or at least affection, for Eliza with the most romantic words that he can summon up. I've grown accustomed to her face. She's an owl sickened by a few days of my sunshine. Very well, let her go. I don't need her. I can do without her. I can do without anyone. I have my own soul, my own spark of divine fire. grown accustomed to her face. She almost makes the day begin. I've grown accustomed to the tune. She whistles night and noon. Her smiles, her frowns, her ups, her downs are second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in I was serenely independent And content before we met Surely I can always be that way again And yet I've grown accustomed to her looks Accustomed to her voice Accustomed to her face Mary Freddy Ha! But I'm so used to hear her say Good morning every day Her joys, her woes, her highs, her lows Are second nature to me now out and breathing in. I'm very grateful she's a woman and so easy to forget. Rather like a habit one can always break. And yet I've grown accustomed to the trace of something in the air, accustomed to her face.
washed me hands and face before I came, I did. Eliza? Where the devil are my slippers? <laughs> Speaking of Lerner and Lowe, I never wanted to be in a show called Paint Your Wagon. Never seen it produced. I only know it from the movie which starred those wonderful Broadway singers Lee Marvin and Clint Eastwood. <laughs> <laughs> the show does have some good tunes, however, and uh, mostly about wandering gold miners drifting around aimlessly and their regrets, like this one. sings about the original girl he left behind him, Elisa. I understand that Mr. Eastwood plays a pretty good jazz piano, but uh, I think he should have left the singing to the professionals. <laughs> Maybe I should too. <laughs> nah. 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 I still see Elisa, she keeps on returning As breathless and young as ever I still hear Elisa in keep feel a yearning To hold her against me Oh, 
Her smile was made of dawn. Her laughter was an eagle song that echoes on and on. Since I saw Elisa, the shadows are falling and winter is calling above. Miners are at the mercy of Mother Nature. They have special names for their constant companions, the elements, wind, rain, fire. The rain is Tess, the fire is Joe, and you know what they call the wind. Away out here they got a name for wind and rain and fire. The rain is Tess, the fire's Joe, and they call the wind Mariah. Mariah blows the stars around and sends the clouds a-flying. Mariah makes the mountains sound like folks were up there dying. She had me, and the sun was always shining. But when one day I left my girl, I left her far behind me. And now I'm lost, so golden lost, not even God can find me. Mariah, blow my love to me 
I need my girl beside me. sensation the Fantastics. It holds the record for the world's longest running musical, 42 years. And it was revived later for an additional 11 years. I didn't get cast at all in the local community theater production back in the day. Too bad. I really wanted to be El Gallo and to sing the show's hit song, Try to Remember. September when life was so and oh so mellow try to remember the kind of September when grass was green and grain was yellow try to remember the kind of September when you were a tender and callow fellow try to remember and if you remember then follow try to remember when life was so tender that no one wept except the willow try to remember when life was so tender that dreams were kept beside your pillow try to remember when life was so tender and love was an ember about to pillow to remember and if you remember then follow Nice to remember, although you know the snow will follow deep in December. It's nice to remember without a hurt, the heart is hollow. Deep in December, it's nice to remember. The fire of September that made us mellow. Deep in December, our hearts should remember and follow. Sometimes I actually get the part I want. 
when Whittier Community Theater did Damn Yankees, I didn't want the part of Joe Hardy who sells his soul to the devil so that he can uh, become a great baseball player. I wanted to be the devil. <laughs> and I got it. <clears throat> Mr. Applegate, the devil, enlists the aid of his cohort, Femme Fatale Lola, she who always gets what she wants, to seduce Joe Hardy. Well, the seduction doesn't go well, and later Mr. Applegate complains to Lola how hard it is to be the devil these days. He longs for those good old days. <laughs> Whenever I'm from time to time depressed And a trauma wells and swells within my breast I find some pride deep inside of me As I fondly walk the lane of memory I see Bonaparte, a mean one, if ever I've seen one, and Nero fiddling through that lovely blaze. Antoinette, dainty queen, with a quaint guillotine, <laughs> those were the good old days. I see Indians dragon an empty covered wagon when scalping the settlers was the latest craze and that glorious morn Jack the Ripper was born yeah those were the good old days I'd sit at my rocking chair so peacefully rocking there counting my blessings by the score the rack was in fashion, the plates were my passion, each day held a new joy in store. Was anybody happy? <laughs> I see cannibals munching, a missionary luncheon. The years may have flown, but the memory stays like the hopes that were dashed when the stock market crashed. Yeah, those were the good old days. I'd walk a million miles or more for some of the gore of those good old days. To close our show, we come finally to my dream part. My Everest, my Dulcinea, the man of La Mancha. I did at least get to audition for the show a few years back, but uh, alas, didn't get the part, or any part. But now is my chance. Yes. The show opens as Miguel de Cervantes, the 17th century author of Don Quixote, is thrown into a prison of the Inquisition for heresy. To protect his manuscript from the other prisoners, he must act out the story for them and for us. Then, with your kind permission, may I set the stage. I shall <coughs> impersonate a man. Come, enter into my imagination and see him. His name is Alonzo Quijana, a country squire no longer young, bony, hollow-eyed, with eyes that burn with the fire of inner vision. Being retired, he has much time for books. He studies them from morn to night and often through the night as well. And what he reads fills him with indignation at man's murderous ways toward man. He broods and he broods and he broods and finally from so much brooding his brain dries up. He lays down the melancholy burden of sanity and conceives the strangest project ever imagined. To become a knight errant and to sally forth into the world to right all wrongs. No longer will he be plain Alonzo Quijana, but a dauntless knight known as Don Quixote de la Mancha.
undebauched as can be, and a knight with his manners all bravely affirm, now hurls down his gauntlet to thee. I am my Don Quixote, a lord of La Mancha, my destiny calls and I go, and the Even though Alonzo Quijana, I mean Don Quixote, is about 800 years too late to be a knight, he sallies forth on his uh, snag Rocinante, accompanied by his servant Sancho Panza. He mistakes pretty much everything for what his imagination wants to see, including windmills for dragons, shaving basins for the golden helmet of Mambrino, and the barmaid of easy virtue, Aldonza, for his queen and lady, Dulcinea. She is not amused. <laughs> I have dreamed thee too long, never seen thee or touched thee, but known thee with all of my heart. Half a prayer, half a song, thou hast always been with me, but we have been always apart. Dulcinea, Dulcinea. See the Dulcinea, and thy name is like a prayer an angel whispers. Dulcinea, Dulcinea, if I reach out to thee, do not tremble or shrink from the touch of my hand on thy head. Let my fingers but see thou art warm and alive and a phantom to fade in the air. Dulcinea Dulcinea I have sought thee, sung thee, dreamed thee Dulcinea The world shall know thy glory, Dulcinea, Dulcinea. Aldonza asks Don Quixote why he does it. Why does he blunder about the countryside getting into trouble trying to help others? He replies, 
I hope to add some measure of grace to the world. Whether I win or lose does not matter, only that I follow the quest, the mission of each true knight, his duty, nay, his privilege. fulfillment of uh, my quest, my impossible dream. Thank you to all of you for being here and indulging me in my little pity party here. <laughs> Thanks to Janine Grab and the Entertainers Club for taking care of all of the behind the scenes details. Stacy and Craig Nelson for the beautiful centerpieces and lots of other things. To Kathy and the Recreation Department for physical logistics. And our tireless custodial engineer, Christian, who's never set up so many chairs in his life, I don't know. <laughs> to Ruth and the uh, Leisure World Weekly for great publicity. We had wonderful articles. To Janice Lane for videotaping. <laughs> and finally, to the most versatile and talented side sideman a piano player could have, Sandra Nelson. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you so much.